many hours later. So rear wheel done, rim tape on. Rim tape just going on. So with with this rim tape, we only need one wrap. Um, with a lot of other wrap, rim tapes, you'll need two. So just because you're an absolute weight weenie, mm -hmm. we're gonna go with a single wrap. And we've already weighed this, so this weighs eight grams. So that's half the weight of it. There's some generic stuff that we're gonna to need to use two wraps on. So it saves a bit of extra weight. The lightweight bolt kit. Saving more weight here. It's all around the Galfa rotors. They look great. Darren, an inner tube that has a very large amount of instructions with it is worrying. There's literally say, instructions. Does it just say max pressure in about 20 different languages? Is that why it's so long? God, I don't even know what half of it says. There's, there's loads of things saying about PSI bar, don't catch in the inner tube. These pictograms are just an abbreviated non-text version of our written instructions and safety warnings. For more detail, we recommend that you read the full version of written nah. It's been a, it's been a journey, <laughs> but we're there. We've got the wheels drilled. We've got the wheels, the wheels are together. We have the bike in the stand and we're gonna set up the new wheels and tires on the bike and then we're gonna weigh it again. So last time we weighed it with Garmin, with pedals, power meter, it was 6.2 kilos. Darren is quietly confident that this is gonna be under six. Easy. 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 I hope so because, mate, it's half 10. If it's not under six, I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be quite disappointed. You promised me. <laughs> Quietly confident that it's gonna be under six kilos. So for that disc brake road bike, under six kilos with pedals, power meter, Garmin, everything's on it to use it as a bicycle. So yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued, excited and intrigued. Do you know uh, Schwaber's little secret? Which not many people realize this. Go on. Why they, this is called the tab. And the tab is designed to line up with the... Oh, that's going against the grain. It's also backwards. That's, that's definitely going against the grain. <laughs> but that's why they do it. The tab is there to line up the thing, but it means that the logos then don't match where your logos are on the wheels. I don't know I can deal with that. We're using Tubalitos. Now, I am no way, I've never used these before. I bought these. Uh, I've used the Schwalbe Aerodan inner tubes loads and we're purely using these ones because they're a little bit lighter. Lightest and smallest bike tube worldwide, they say. So it's gonna be interesting to see how these are. Say so I really like the Schwalbe ones, but I'm not, I've never used these. Don't really like the orange valves, if I'm honest with you. It's kind of annoying because there's already, this bike has got green and pink on it. It's too much color now, but, um, we can't put any tape over them because that will weigh extra. We can't put any tape over them because it will weigh more. But yeah, we're going to use these on uh, with a set of Schwalbe Pro One TT tires, which is their lightest tire on these wheels. So in theory, it's all going to add up to making it quite a bit lighter. Someone's got nice tools. Abby, baby. This is a proper hill climb bike now. I mean, it, it was, but... Powered by Papa John's, eh? Powered by Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? <laughs> 
Well, we've got, yeah, we've got three different sets of scales here, so we can weigh them up if we want. Three sets of scales to weigh one bike. You would almost argue that it's overkill. Well, we don't want to cheat that. Six kilos, do we? Sharpie them. Sharpie the valves. Sharpie the valves. It's going to be no extra weight, isn't it? Uh, mate. Maybe. Half, maybe a half a gram? <laughs> well, what would, would half the DI2 battery in it? That's that's that half a gram made back, but that looks the dog's dinner. Look at that. What a stupid looking bike. <laughs> Daily rider. Daily rider, it's a, just a town commuter. We'll put mud guards on it. Perfect right now outside. I think it's got to be time to weigh it, mate. Let's weigh up. Should we use a variety of scales? We've got we've got all options of scales here. I've got scales. Darren's got scales. Go with the home scales. Go with the park scales. Everyone can relate to the park the, scale. This scale is the scale that I've weighed it on every single time. So it's a good neutral base scale, I would say. So what did what did it weigh in at? Six point six point two something. I think it is what it was. I've, I've actually got a photo of it. Let me have a look. I weighed this at 6.26 is what I weighed it at. And then the first time, when it was last year when I did the Struggle Hill Climb, it weighed seven, give or take. I'm seeing the seven there, Darren. Stop, stop holding it. <laughs> is that sub six? 5.91. <laughs> So we've made <laughs> the most obnoxious bike, less than six kilos. What size is it? That's a 54. 54, that's pretty good. So it's not a, it's not a huge bike, but it's not a tiny bike. 5.91 kilos with full length handlebars. Haven't chopped them. The Garmin. Pedals, because people wear them without pedals and there's a power meter and it's disc brakes. 5.91 kilos. <laughs> I think that is. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's hot. You happy? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You got a little bit of dirt on the cranks and the down tube as well, so that's a few more grams. That's gonna get it under 5.9. <laughs> I'll give it a good clean when I get home. So yeah, we've made, we've managed to successfully get the bike under six kilos, 5.91 kilos now for a pretty standard frame. Now I'll admit this is a lightweight Sabello, but this was an off the peg Sabello that you could buy. This was the paint job it came in. We haven't taken any paint off it. It's just the frame. Admittedly, there are some very fancy parts in this bike. The Schmolker bars and stem and saddle, Doremo seat posters, fancy as hell bird spokes we're running reserve 34 37 rims which are not you know they're still a relatively deep rim really but we are using extra light hubs and bird spokes which definitely helps with the weight of it the group set is durace so yes that's going to help with the weight it makes it lighter we are using an xtr crank set which is weirdly lighter than a durace one and it's a durace rear mech with an 1132 cassette so there is there is a so there is a lot of stuff on this bike which is i will admit i'll be the first person to say that it's there's a lot of things in it which are bougie but the whole project was trying to see how light we could get a disc brake road bike without doing anything crazy to the frame we've done crazy things to everything else so <laughs> powered by papa john's powered by papa john's we got there in the end yeah god it's bonkers does it feel light? It definitely feels light, especially for a disc bike. Yeah. We get some pretty light rim brake bikes in, but this for a disc bike does feel light. So you can do hill climbs on a disc brake bike and get it under six kilos. Is rim brake dead? Rim brake's not dead. <laughs> I, can't, I can't agree to that. <laughs> I'm too old school. <laughs>